Hi everyone, it's Raina. So this series of videos is about Venus and the different signs. And Venus can never be very far from your sun sign. It can only be either in the same sign as your sun sign, two signs back or two signs ahead. So if you're a Gemini, you cannot have Venus in Sagittarius. It's impossible. Now, Venus deals with your sex appeal. So how other people see you in as a romantic partner, how you love, you know, how you interact within the realm of romantic relationships, and what you think about love. And the nature of these relationships, how they go. Um, the other thing too is Venus can deal with your friendships. And it can deal with um, the kind of art that you value, the kind of entertainment that you value, and your particular form of creativity. So hopefully you've looked below this video to see the link to that takes you to the, the list of Venus in various signs, uh, depending on your date of birth. It's really a simple kind of a calculation because you don't have to plug in any information. You just have to kind of scroll down the list to the appropriate um, date. But in some cases, you do have to know your time of birth because Venus can change signs in one day, and it could be like one of two signs, depending on what, uh, what the exact time is. So do consult your birth certificate if you have one, and then you can be more precise. So looking at Aries, uh, what Venus and Aries represents, for those of you who have this, you tend to be people who love at first sight. Aries is a very impulsive, direct sign. So people who have, you know, if you have the sun in Aries, this would be the same thing. But it's, I mean, like a similar reaction to life. But specifically for people who have Venus in Aries, there is a very unadorned type of love nature. It's very uncomplicated, very straightforward. When they, when you guys love somebody, you love them, and there's no um, facade about it. You can be very aggressive in trying to go after someone. And actually, this is a very interesting phenomenon, because for some people who have Venus in Aries, and I think that this is especially true if your son is in Aries as well, because there is this uh, competitive spirit of the sign of Aries is that you may actually like people who play hard to get. If somebody is too yielding to you, you might think that they're not, um, they're too easily won. You're the type of person who loves the thrill of the hunt. So if somebody's being kind of like uh, standoffish, that's more of a challenge for you and you love a challenge. So you may tend to chase after somebody. And even like if you're a Venus and Aries person, and I would say uh, specifically a woman, you may enjoy being chased. You may enjoy being the one who's being elusive because you like that dynamic of uh, the, the hunter and the hunted. Aries is an impulsive sign, and so Venus in Aries is somebody who is very likely to jump into a romance without thinking about it. And because Aries, uh, Venus in Aries is sensual, and this is uh, due to, I'm imagining this is due to the fact that there's a, uh, the ruler of Aries is Mars, and Mars is the god of war, but it's also, it represents the sex drive. And I am going to be doing a series of videos about Mars and the different signs, and we'll see the contrast um, and the things that are similar between Venus and Aries and Venus and Mars. But um, this makes Sun and Aries and Venus and Aries people very 
um, I would, you know, it's said in one of my books, sensual, but I would say sexual because I consider Taurus to be more sensual. And there's like this very direct sexuality that I associate with Aries. Aries people don't have a, a facade in that regard. They're very, it's like what you see is what you get. But the the challenge here for somebody with Venus and Aries is not to jump into a sexual relationship too quickly because that can cloud over um, some of the incompatibility that may exist overall. And because Venus and Aries, um, or in this particular case, you have Venus being influenced by that Martian warlike energy. People who have Venus and Aries may find themselves attracted to relationships full of drama or conflict. And this is because Aries people tend to like sparring partners. Again, this is going to be particularly true if your son is in Aries. If your son is in Taurus, you may be less inclined to enjoy that aspect of the relationship. But but somebody with um, Sun in Taurus who has Venus in Aries may be um, placing too much importance on the sensual part of the relationship. And they may um, kind of get blinded by that sexual, the, by the sexual fireworks. I feel that this is particularly true for people who have the sun in Aries and the sun in Taurus and have Venus in Aries. Okay. For somebody who has the sun in Gemini, the challenge is not to be a womanizer because Gemini loves variety, is very flirtatious, and very fickle, changeable when it comes to a lot of their affairs. So in their love life, they may be easily bored and wanting uh, a new stimulation. Aries is all about newness. And a person who has sun in Gemini and moon in I'm sorry, in Venus and Aries may be prone to kind of like being like a bee going from flower to flower, trying to find more nectar and easily, you know, getting easily bored with um, the, the relationship once it becomes more, uh, you know, predictable. People who have Venus and Aries actually do have to guard against this very thing when it comes to boredom, because you are easily um, bored once things become routine. Once you get to know someone, it's not new anymore. And Aries, the sign Aries loves newness. And so Venus and Aries might have a tendency actually to be in love with that initial stage of falling in love. And then when they have already known the person and everything is kind of um, settled down and it's not in that intoxicating phase, then the Venus and Aries person might think that they have fallen out of love when really they're just settling down. There's always this uh, thirst for excitement when it comes to Aries, whether it's the Sun in Aries, Mars in Aries, or Venus in Aries. And this can lead to not being satisfied with things that are calm. And that's something that has to be um, looked at. Venus in Aries is actually, this is kind of like uh, ironic or uh, maybe paradoxical is a better um, adjective, where they are turned off to behavior that is considered coarse, but they can, if they have an afflicted Venus, they can be quite coarse in their behavior. By coarse, I mean unrefined, you know, behavior that's not considered uh, very, you know, like uncouth, rough behavior. So I've talked about um, some of the sun signs, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. Now let's look at the, the signs behind Aries. 
with um, Pisces as the sun sign, you can see somebody who may be quite meek. And by meek, I mean, they're, they're not very assertive in their life in general, but in their love life, they can be downright aggressive where they may go after people trying to, to chase after a love relationship. And they might even be quite outspoken in that relationship. Whereas in their other relationships, they might be quite, um, passive and not so assertive. Pisces can be a sensual sign as well. And this kind of adds to that. Um, with Pisces, it's more of an imaginative thing. So because Pisces is ruled by Neptune, fantasy can come into play. And then that immediacy that Aries represents that brash, exciting um, <laughs> energy can combine in a very uh, explosive way. And, um, and yet there could be a fickleness because Pisces is a mutable water sign. So Pisces as a sun sign tends to waver in terms of their desires and their, even maybe their feelings about... Um, a particular person. And then you add to that um, the quest for newness that Venus and Aries may have, and they can kind of be a little bit um, too going back and forth or maybe going from one person to the next, and maybe even being a bit indecisive about whether or not they want to stay with a particular person. With Aquarius, now Aquarius is an air sign, so it's detached, and it's also a fixed sign, so it tends to be very um, stubborn in its um, attitudes and behaviors. But this influence of Venus and Aries could give cool Aquarius a rather passionate love nature, whereas in other areas of their life, they're very unemotional. So I hope you've enjoyed this and learned a few things. And if you happen to have Venus and Aries, let me know if you agree with my assessments or you think otherwise. And if you'd like a private reading, there's information about that below as well. You can find me at rainandmoonastrology.com. Okay, take care of yourselves, guys. Bye.